Namaste, beautiful people. This is Gilda Pearl and happy Mother's Day. I hope everybody is having a beautiful day. Um, just enjoying this time just to be with our families and to be in this place of love and to be in this place of remembering and having good memories during these unprecedented times, which is a word that people like to be using these times. During this phase, it's, it's a good reminder for us to come together, to be in our heart with our family, to be with our close friends and to be in this place of love. Because as we traverse this territory that's very foreign to us, the best thing that we can carry with us and the lightest thing we can carry with us is this feeling of love. And let us compassionately help each other as we each move through these phases together. And no one is immune. We all in this together. That's the word of pun there. No one is immune, but it is. We, our immunity gets stronger with love. So let us be love in all ways. So today I'm going to offer a reading to all beings of this planet because I think it's necessary that we have a little bit of guidance today just to see where it is if we can all be in love and in a place of our heart. Maybe we can get some guidance that really shows us the next medicine as we move into these next planes of existences. So close your eyes, just keep your mind completely blank. Just be here in this moment and let us just thank for the most crystal clear guidance that's going to come through. That's going to be for our highest good and for the highest good of everyone concerned. And so we thank you for this time and this opportunity to receive all that we need and all that we need to know now. Let's see, I'm reading, I'm reading with a new deck of cards. So I might move it. Um, one I haven't read with for a while. Oh. Perspective. I guess I'll show it to you. It's the Milky Way. You see us in that Milky Way in the arm. Apparently, you know, in this Milky Way picture, we're somewhere out in the outer skirts. But it's showing us the central sun. So if we are asked to come into our heart, the central sun of a galaxy, our Milky Way galaxy, if we are asked to come into our heart, the heart that we can align with, and which was a 2012, 2000, you know, 12, 12, 12, 12, 21, the end of the mind calendar, that we were coming into a new alignment with the galactic heart. So we're coming into a new frequency from the galactic heart. And so we've been moving into this new frequency. And now we've been reminded again to come back to the heart of all things. And it's when we look at the world, it's this perspective on here, when we look at the world, we may be looking at the thing like right up in our face and we can't see around it because it's right up in our face. But when we move back from it, we can start to see, we may be a speck, tiny little speck here somewhere in the outer arms here. And we think that the whole world revolves around us. But in fact, if you look at it from a higher perspective, we start to see this divine design. Because if you think about what the Milky Way actually would look like from afar, and you have to be very far to see what the Milky Lane, Milky Lane, Milky Way looks like. It's this higher perspective. It's bringing our awareness into a new dimensional awareness. And Spirit is asking to come through on this too because when we are connecting with this cosmic heart, we're really connecting to that Christ consciousness with inside of us, that teacher of pure love, divine love, that awareness that all is one, that we're all in this together and that none of us are apart. And it's all of us together that makes this beautiful picture. So if we come to that place realizing that it's not just me and my problems, but it's this whole world. And so we come together to that cosmic heart, to the frequency of love, that maybe we can see how beautiful we are as we all come together as one to create this sort of rhythmic, um, symphonic, harmonic energy that wants to come through us. This is what humanity is. We're all the humans of the rainbow. So it's all our colors together and make this beautiful picture. So let us bring our awareness to a higher perspective and see us all as one in this together. And so when we are in our hearts, when you're in my your heart and you're I'm in my heart, then we give permission to the whole world to really step forward and to be in that place within our hearts too. When we receive each other from our hearts instead of from the thing that's going on right now, when we start to ascend through these old ideas and come into a new way of being. So let us all connect to that galactic heart today, to the cosmic heart, to the mother heart, right? 
to the mother heart to see that we all one that we all birthed onto this planet for a perfect reason onto this mother earth planet that's here to nurture us and love us so our relationships to how we are in relationships with each other in relationships with earth and the elements and nature and even with the cosmos starting to nurture these relationships seeing how they all part of the synchronization of this greater force that is swirling through us too like if we cut our cells and come into the atoms and we cut them into they say that they find what universe is inside of us we're created with light right so all of this we are all of this we're made of star stuff stardust so let us find a higher perspective today and really move into that place of our highest heart and that's really a teaching that has been wanting to come through is to be in that place of your highest heart so from my heart to yours may you always be in love namaste and may love be that medicine that helps you to transform and transfigure and to move into your highest space too again from my heart to yours may you always be blessed namaste